Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the um, most recent Conjuring film, The Devil and Me Do It. But first, I'm going to give you some backstory as like the true story um, behind the film. So like most of the Conjuring movies are loosely, very loosely based off of events that happen in real life, like the Mimiville Horror, um, the Enfield Poltergeist, like whether or not there's actually like any paranormal occurrences, like, like who knows, like the Warrens apparently, like in the past, um, have been accused of fraud, even though the family is that like, they allegedly helped. For some reason, some of them, you know, like, like back them and be like, oh no, this was true. Some are like, this is completely false. They fabricated the whole thing just to get money. Um, like, you can research yourself. I'll also, like, put down links below. Anyways, yeah, so I want to tell me do it. So basically, it was based off of a um, real life case where this young man named Arnie, he killed his um, landlord. He was like, I believe, 19 years old um, when that happened. Not entirely sure, I think I saw an article about it, but like, I don't know. Um, it was just one article. So basically, like, I think he was seen by his, like, girlfriend? Like, she was the one who went, one once who witnessed it. Like, apparently there's like a couple witnesses and so he was arguing with um, the landlord. I think he like stabbed him a bunch of times, and I think this may have happened outside. I'm not entirely sure. And basically, his defense attorney um, was the one who decided to come up to defense. It was an Arnie um, who like said the devil made him do it. It was all defense. Um, and basically, like his girlfriend says that her younger brother, like in the beginning whenever um, I chose boy, like getting possessed and like doing exorcism. So basically she says that like he was actually possessed and then like the demon like jumped into Arnie and then like, like Lorraine also, you know, second that was like, yeah, like he, he told him the demon to leave the lad alone and then, you know, like to take him instead and then it did. Um, and then the older brother of the kid was like, yeah, this was completely false. My brother suffered from mental illness and instead of getting him the proper like help he needed, um, you know, they just decided to do an exorcism and like there's a recording at the end of the movie, like of like what went down. So basically like so this boy like probably like had like mental illness because like I don't I don't really believe demonic possession exists like obviously like mental illness as like obviously a very real thing and like in the past as been mistaken as um like demons and like it's like I don't know man and like even if it did even if demonic possessions I'm sorry like did happen. Like, it'd be very rare, um, like, super fucking rare. Like, if it exists at all, like, it would just, yeah. Like, it wouldn't be very common, like, unlike the movies and stuff, and like, oh yeah, this common, no, it, I, like, I don't know. If it's real, then yeah, pretty sure it's not. Yeah, because then it would be, you know, more widespread, and there'd be a lot more people, um, like, so much more people, and then just, yeah. But, yeah, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, it's just my opinion. So basically, yes, instead of um, him getting the help he needed, um, he would just subject it to that. And it must have been traumatizing for a boy, you know, like, you hear, like, you know, just, yeah, it just, it's really sad, you know, like, you know, you know knowing that, like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, he was struggling with mental illness, and this whole thing was, like, fabricated. The Warrens apparently like tricked the family that like and yeah, just took advantage of their trust. Um again, like I have 
no idea if this is true or not. You know, I'm gonna say it like allegedly, because like I don't know, like it's a chance and I'll make it sued. Like, oh yeah, this, you know, like isn't true. The warrants were legit. You know, I'm just I'm I'm just saying what I saw, what I read in the articles, and yeah, basically about that. So allegedly, yes, allegedly. Um. So yeah, and the movie is not, I mean, it's good, but obviously it's not the best Conjuring film you'll ever see. I remember seeing like the trailer a while back, I believe, like, oh yeah, I totally want to watch this, I can't wait. And then like, and then watching it, it's like, yeah, but, but, yeah, interesting plot. Obviously stuff about like the, um, the woman who said curse and family, that was totally not, obviously never happened in real life. <laughs> like... But just, you know how the movies, like, obviously, you know, it's like, oh, based off a true story, and, like I said before, it, like, some parts have a fabric of truth to them, but most is, like, dramatization, just, like, made-up stuff to further the movie plots. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys like the, um, sort of, like, brief backstory, um, you know, like, to the actual case. Um, if y'all want me to go more in depth about like other movies, like The Exorcist and stuff, and like about like curses, you know, that like allegedly um, surround the film because of like you know, like what's about. Um, just comment down below, and I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all. All right, peace out, guys.